It's PSA time over Christmas. Recordbox 7.0.7 was launched and it brought new lighting features. So Recordbox software, uniquely on DJ software, it's got this panel down here that when set up properly, lets you control your DMX DJ lights, in other words, professional DJ lighting. It's not as fully featured as hardware solutions or other dedicated software solutions, but for mobile DJs and for people with just a few lights, it can be a really easy way of not only having control right there in your DJ software, but also being able to then map it to even to buttons that you're not using on your DJ gear. And that brings me to the issue with this. So currently, if you own one of these, the DDJ Flex 10, then you're good to go because on the back of the DDJ Flex 10 is this here, this uh, DMX output interface. And you plug your light into there, your first light into there. You daisy chain your other lights to it in the way that this works. It's a bit like MIDI for lighting and you're good to go. Now, Alpha Theta, Pioneer DJ, had a solution for everyone else using their software on something like this or any other gear where you haven't got that socket. And that was a box which was called the RBDMX1. And this box plugged into your laptop and allowed you to do what I just showed you that you can do here with this socket on the back of the unit. Unfortunately though, they stopped making it. So we had this situation where the only way if you want to use this feature in the software that you could do it was either own one of those boxes so they discontinued or own one of these and plug in at the back there. Well, since Recordbox 7.0.7, which came out over Christmas and which passed me by until it popped up when I opened the software to, to do something else today, since Recordbox 7.0.7, they have fixed that and made it so that it works with other people's interfaces so in particular the ones that you can use it with now are the ones on the screen now the ntech open dmx the ntech dmx usb pro and the ntech dmx usb pro mark ii which are these three boxes here so go and buy yourself one of those boxes plug it into your laptop plug your lights into it and then all of a sudden you're going to find that it will work so there's a couple of other things you need to bear in mind this lighting feature only works at all if you've got the creative or the pro plan of Recordbox, which are subscription plans. And if you own a Mac, you need to install a driver. This would probably trip you up if you didn't know it. So again, there is a driver that you need to install in order to make it work with a Mac. Now, all of this information, including the information that I started with here, is on this web page from Alpha Theta Pioneer DJ. And I will link to this web page underneath in the description for this video. So if you are a Recordbox user, you've always been interested in using Recordbox lighting and you don't happen to own one of these or one of the now discontinued RB DMX1 boxes, as long as you're happy to subscribe to the Creative or the Pro plan and go and buy a relatively cheap third-party NTech DMX interface, then you can now start plugging in any standard DJ lighting to it and control it directly from Recordbox. That's it. There's your PSA announcement. You're now in the loop on the new lighting features that have been added to Recordbox 7.0.7. So if you want to learn everything that there is to know about Recordbox, then do take a look at our Recordbox Made Easy course. It covers everything from this to this, down to the smallest controllers. They all use Recordbox and our course covers the lot. It's called Recordbox Made Easy and you'll find it over on the Digital DJ Tips website. Go to the courses page on Digital DJ Tips and watch this short video that I've made about the course. It will be me teaching you and it covers absolutely everything you need to know about this very powerful piece of software, whether you're using export mode, performance mode, using it with your own gear, whether you're mapping it to extra controllers, whether you're using lighting as we've just talked about, and all the other features, including the cloud features. It's up to date and it's full of all you need to know to use your Pioneer DJ or Alpha Theta gear to its full potential. Take a look at that. But meanwhile, this has been Phil in the studio here at the Digital DJ Tips School saying, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you again very soon.